What's up, peers, and welcome back to the World Crypto Network with a reading of ZeroLink, the Bitcoin fungibility framework. Chapter 2, Part C, Optimizing Performance. When you change between phases, phases can be triggered by Bitcoin blocks. For instance, every time a block arrives, the next phase is triggered. In order to eliminate the inconsistencies of the Bitcoin network, it is a better idea to trigger a new phase at every even block. Nonetheless, it results in unnecessarily long mixing rounds. Another way is to stick phases into timeframes. Assuming a performant tumbler and optimal utilization of the anonymity network by the clients, one minute is enough to complete every phase. While it is a even more performant way to complete a tumbling round, it is still not optimal. Optimal performance is achieved when the tumbler triggers the changes between phases because it is the only actor that is aware when the phase is completed. The issue is a tumbler can execute various timing attacks that result in the de-anonymization. To make sure that the tumbler is honest about its phases, all clients must set up another monitoring identity, Satoshi, who monitors the phases so the tumbler does not know who to lie to. In addition, every phase must time out after one minute. Timeouts happen when malicious or disconnected analysis is detected. How long does the round take? The first phase, input registration, uses the recommended dynamic anonymity set algorithm at low liquidity could take hours or days. At medium liquidity, it will average three minutes. At high liquidity, it will run within a few seconds. If actors disconnect during the input registration, connection confirmation will time out after one minute. Otherwise, this phase should execute quickly. For the remaining phases, assuming no malicious actors and optimal anonymity network utilization, the bottleneck is the size of the transaction being downloaded by the client, with which a, at high liquidity would be approximately 100 kilobyte. Even in this case, the round should execute within a couple of seconds. Assuming sophisticated malicious actors at output registration, the round aborts within two minutes because the phase's timeout is one minute and these analysis could potentially delay the connection confirmation of up to 0 0.59 seconds or 59 seconds after the, they start the connection confirmation. Assuming, worst case, sophisticated malicious actors at signing, the round aborts within three minutes because the timeout of signing phase is one minute and they could potentially delay their connection confirmation and output registration up to 59 seconds after the start of the connection confirmation and output registration phase. Speeding up mixing. All Chaumian coin joints input must be segregated witness inputs. This prevents the transaction from being malgated, and as a result, the tumbler can accept unconfirmed Chaumian coin joint change outputs from the user in the next round. Pierce, thank you very much for joining me here for the part on optimizing performance of the Zero Link Bitcoin fungibility framework. Thank you very much, and see you on the next show. Bye bye.